Along the geothermal zone of the Havita River, around 80 kilometers from Iceland's capital of Reykjavik, the great Stroker Geyser, located in the southwestern section of the island, attracts much interest. For several centuries, Stroka has been overshadowed by another, even more remarkable hot spring. This outstanding geological phenomenon was named after the nearby Story Geyser. Dating back to the 13th century, the oldest record of this location refers to a mighty 70-meter-high water spout. It's believed that a powerful earthquake created the first eruption in this region. Today, most who come here visit the Stroker Geyser. At first glance, the waters of the Stroker Geyser appear benign. Only steam and gurgling water indicate its slumbering subterranean power. The first signs of an imminent eruption are indicated by small ripples in the water that grow increasingly active. Soon, a 30-meter-high jet of water shoots up into the sky, an amazing fountain of steam and boiling water. The earth spits out water from within. The geysers along the Havita Valley have become a national symbol of this active volcanic island. The advantages of the country's readily accessible geothermal energy were soon recognized by the Icelandic people. In 1928, the first houses in Reykjavik were heated by geothermal energy. Since then, the harnessing of this natural source of energy has been exploited to the full and now almost the whole of Reykjavik is powered by geothermal energy. The island owes its environmentally friendly power supply to its relatively young geology. Here, magma flows close to the Earth's surface. In addition to Stokoro, the main attraction of this thermal field, there are also a number of smaller features such as the steamy Smidia geyser. The activity of the little geyser is artificial. By adding soap suds, the water's surface tension is decreased and causes an eruption. However, this kind of trick is no longer employed. Today, the famous Story Geyser is quite tranquil. In 1915, the legendary spring became inexplicably extinct. Almost 20 years later, it exploded into life once again.
Although today's geyser spouts water into the air several times a day, it does not possess the power it once had. These subterranean processes take place throughout Iceland. 250 thermal locations with approximately 600 springs have been counted to the present day. The island is subject to constant change. In recent times, both Iceland's climate and geology have altered. Man has caused this transformation. Iceland's already scant forests have now almost disappeared. According to the most recent geological surveys, the history of the impressive thermal field across the Strokogeyser began at the end of the Ice Age more than 10,000 years ago. Man has always treated this bizarre, surreal landscape at its gurgling water pools and scorching hot fountains with respect. Since the discovery of the geysers around the end of the 13th century, Travelers and explorers from all over the world have been attracted by Iceland's geothermal features. It has only been in relatively recent years that most of the secrets of the mysterious geysers have been revealed by science. The German chemist Robert Bunsen was the first to realize that the powerful eruptions were caused by overheating in deep subterranean canals. When the water fountains created by the subterranean canals beneath the earth have run dry, the cycle repeats itself. The geysers filling up with water once again. The interval between each eruption is relatively constant. The Stroker geyser repeats its beautiful, natural performance daily at between 9 and 10 minute intervals. With its sparse and unique landscape, Iceland has managed to retain its fascinating natural splendor right up to the present day. And its remarkable geysers are one of the world's most spectacular natural phenomena.